I am finally, finally back in Seoul. Hey guys, so right now I'm at Bonville Beach again. I am just here at the shore to soak everything up, soak in this last moments because I am leaving in an hour back to Seoul. So I'm just trying to really enjoy the moment. I'm really, really gonna miss this place. So I really, really recommend you staying here so you can see the ocean and the bridge in the morning at night at sunset. It is just incredible, so. This was my trip in Busan. Yay! Okay, I'm gonna enjoy the moment and I'll see you back in Seoul. There's like no one here. <gasps> Did I get the whole cart to myself? Whoa. Okay, everybody, I am finally, finally back in Seoul. This trip was way, way better than from Seoul to Busan because I learned my lesson and I did not eat anything before the trip. So learn from my mistake and just do not eat, especially do not eat a lot before a trip, especially if you get like motion sickness. But my trip to Busan. It was so, so, so incredible because even though I pretty much live near the beach in LA, I haven't been to the beach in like years since I was pretty much a little, little child. It was such a different, different feel and just the environment was just incredible and breathtaking. So I definitely, definitely recommend you going to Busan for about like two or three days, I feel like would be good. But Busan was very, very beautiful. I felt relaxed and I enjoyed the beach so 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 much. So I'm finally back in Seoul. I have one more week so definitely have a few things planned so stay tuned for that but I am back same hotel just different rooms. This time I have one big bed. No windows unfortunately. I mean it is cheaper so and we have the bathroom which no tub but that's fine because this is still a very, very nice place. So I'm probably gonna head in early so I can start my day early tomorrow. And I guess we'll see what I end up doing. Bye. <laughs> Good morning everybody, so it is currently the next day and today's plan is a little iffy because I just found out last night that I only had half a day's worth of plan that I planned. So as of now, the plan is to go a little bit of shopping in Myeongdong, just get the little gifts, get stuff for myself. I literally told myself the first like three, four days because I had to go to Busan that I would not buy anything because I'm not lugging around all those stuff back and forth. So I told myself, I was like, I'm just, I'm not gonna buy anything until I'm settled 
here in Seoul. So finally gonna start doing some shopping today. And then after that, I'm probably gonna go to the Songsu area because there's like a bunch of cute cafes there as well. Then I'm gonna go to the Nudake, Nudok, Gentle Monster house. So that is the current plan as of now, but who knows? So let's get going. Thank you. 
because I made it to Dongdaenim Plaza, this is actually really, really cool. Guys, this is actually so cool. There's like this big statue, kind of weird, but there's this huge statue right behind the Dongdaemun artifact. That is insane. Hey guys, I am at Dongdaemun Plaza and it is so so cool, like whoever designed the architecture is incredible but right now I'm just sitting at a random space near it and I bought Knotted Donut, the ever famous one. I actually wanted Earl Grey but they ran out so I got the very last pistachio cream so let's see if it lives up to the hype. It's a little sweet, not gonna lie, but I mean the dough is soft, but I don't really taste pistachio. It's more so like a custard cream, so maybe I'll try it next time, but so far, eh.